Hi friends, happy Friday. Thanks for being here. Welcome to your Friday morning or afternoon, depending on coming to you live from San Diego. So excited to see two with you. Thank you for being here. My friend Samson is on with us as well, supporting on the back end and with the chat. Samson, how is uh, my mat looking? Does that all look okay? Hi. Thanks again for joining us. If you're just hopping on, my name's Marissa. I am a senior area leader for Core Power Yoga in San Diego. So excited to flow with you today. All you need is your mat, yourself, maybe a towel and water. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, please, Samson, let's try the music. Samson, I just turned my music on. How's, hi Jenny, hi Dee. Happy Friday, ladies, thanks for being here. How's that sound, Samson? Perfect. Louder or not as loud. Hello, Monica. Hi, Alex. So fun to thanks for joining. I've got my uh, co-teacher in the background. My dog Bodhi is here uh, to flow with us today. Hi, Simona. Simona from Italy is here. So cool. Simona, welcome. Well, team, today on our mats, we are going to, hi, Sarah. Uh, we are going to focus on two really important tenets of yoga, which are practice, and non-attachment. So if you're just hopping on, feel free to type into the chat what you're practicing right now in your life. It can be on your mat or off your mat, and we'll lean in that to, into that today together on our mats. We'll get started here in just about two minutes. Hello friends who are joining us, thank you for being here. Team, if you're just hopping on, my name is Marissa. I am here in San Diego. So excited to teach you a shortened C2 flow today. So thanks for making time to get onto your mat. Samson, just one more quick check. How is sound and how is my volume as well before we get started? Team, if you're just joining us, uh, today on our mats, we'll be leaning into two important philosophies of a yoga practice, which are practice and non-attachment. So if you're just hopping on, you can start to consider those things or better yet, type into the chat and share with your fellow yogis what it is that you're practicing in your life right now, on your mat or off. We'll wait about one more minute, everybody, before we get started. All you'll need is a yoga mat, yourself, your smile, maybe today. Uh, I was getting pretty sweaty during class, so I made sure to have a towel available this time. Uh, so mat, towel, water, and your beautiful smile, that's all you'll need today. All right, team, well, I think it's time. So let's go ahead and begin. We'll start on our mats in Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose. So as you're ready, make your way onto your mat, 
Lisa, thank you. I love that you're practicing patience and letting go. You'll get the opportunity to lean into that today. Thank you for sharing in the chat. So friends, Supta Baddha Konasana on your mats. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Open your knees out wide. Take one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. And close your eyes. Begin to tune into your breath. And visualize those words, practice and non-attachment as two sides of the same coin. They absolutely have to coexist. Perhaps bring to mind that thing you are practicing in your life or on your mat. And together, take one big breath into it. Open mouth, breathe out. And settle into a few gentle, easy breaths on your own. Feel your hands rise and fall up and away from your belly and chest as you do. And bring your knees down, close your knees together like the pages of a book and pull them into your heart. Give yourself a nice tight little squeeze. Tee your arms out open wide, drop your knees over to the left, gentle supine twist, gaze up or gaze to the right. Allow this gentle twist to happen in your spine to begin to awaken your core center. One breath in and one breath out. Inhale, knees to center, realign. Exhale, drop your knees to the right, gaze up or to the left. Breathe life into the length of your spine from your tail through the crown of your head. Squeeze your inner thighs together to emphasize the stretch on your outer left hip. Inhale, come back to center, hug in, and then take a few rock and rolls up and down the length of your mat. Start to turn on your core, cross your ankles, plant your palms, and make your way into a tabletop pose. Now you're welcome to stay here for a traditional tabletop or flip your wrists towards your knees for a switch grip to stretch out your wrists and your forearms. Whatever variation you're in, inhale, cow pose, belly down, lift your heart up forward and through. Exhale, round and curl to cat stretch, tuck your chin and dome your upper back. Inhale, cow pose, feel the muscles between your shoulder blades flex. Exhale, round and curl, feel your belly button pull to your spine. Good, inhale, neutral table, re-elongate your fingertips forward, and then walk your hands to the top of your mat for puppy pose. Drop your heart down towards the floor. Rest your chin or your forehead on your mat, depending on what feels best in your body. Allow this gentle stretch into your armpit muscles and the front of your chest. Take one big inhale here, one big exhale. Root your palms into the earth, come back to tabletop pose, take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, hike your hips up and back. Pedal into your dog, bend one knee and then the other. Samson, quick check, everybody can hear and see me okay. Friends in your down dog, root your fingertips deeply into the earth. Spin your bicep muscles forward, and then lace your low ribs in and together to fire up your core. Squeeze on the fronts of your upper thighs. Allow your heels to work towards the mat. Know they never need to touch. Awesome work. Take one more breath in. Great job, Jenny. And one more breath out. Friends, stay in your down dog. Opportunity to try on a fun balance challenge Twisted dog pose. Take your hands a little bit closer to your toes, root into your left palm, and then reach your right hand to grab somewhere on your left leg. You can bend your knees a little or a lot, squeeze in your belly center, breathe in, elongate left arm, breathe out and twist your heart underneath your armpit. One more inhale. Exhale, release right hand to the mat and switch it out. Take your left hand to the outside of your right leg. Squeeze your upper inner thighs together to stabilize your pelvic floor. Breathe in, elongate. 
breathe out and twist. Replace your hand gaze forward, step into ragdoll pose, toes behind your wrist, grab opposite elbows, lean forward, heavy your head down, whatever on your shoulders this Friday, let it fall onto your mat and practice letting go. Lisa, like you shared, thank you so much. Fingertips down to your mat team. Take your feet together into touch. Bend your knees. Rise slow to stand. Reach your arms high to the sky. Mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Samasti to he. Close your eyes. Drill your palms into one another. And bring back to mind that image of the coin. On one side, the theory of practice. On the second side, non-attachment. So we get to do our work and practice and then let go of whatever the result is. It'll serve us on our mats and off. Take a full breath in. Send a full breath out. Sudden salutation A, release your arms down. Inhale, mountain pose, squeeze your legs together. Hug your arm bones in towards your head. Take one breath in. On your exhale, chair with airplane arms. Sit down, reach back muscles to bend at your knees and pull your hips a little closer to the ground. Stay in your chair. Inhale, bind your fingertips together. Punch your knuckles down. Lift your arms up and back to stretch your chest. Option to elevate your heels off the mat for an extra challenge. Take one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold with your bind. Drop your knuckles down towards the mat, heavy your head. Bend your knees a little or a lot as you awaken your hamstrings and your calf muscles. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your chest forward and through. Take your hands onto your thighs. Press into your legs to create traction. Draw your shoulder blades down your back to elongate your spine. Take one more breath in here. On your exhale, plant your palms. Step back, high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, low plank, hold and hover, squeeze your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your heart up forward and through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great work, everybody. Take one full breath in. One full breath out. Good breath to movement. Let's flow. One time, sun A. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, stand tall. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, bind, option with your heels. Exhale, forward fold with your bind. Breathe in, halfway lift, hands to thighs. Breathe out, high plank to low plank. Option always to use your knees or skip it. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one breath in and one breath out. Inhale, reach your right heel high. Open your hips up. Give yourself a little kick in the glutes. Root your fingertips into your mat. Spin your biceps forward. Feel your upper back turn on. Re-extend your heel up and back. Elevate your heel towards the sky to turn on your glute and hamstring muscle. Take one breath in. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Set your back knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your hands up to the sky. I like to keep my back toes tucked so that I can deliver my hips forward for a deeper stretch and the muscles that connect my legs to my belly. Extend your fingertips up high. Take a full breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Plate your palms onto the mat. Option to tilt your fingertips. Lift your back knee, draw your chest forward and through. Leave your left hand grounded. Inhale, lateral twist, reach your right hand up. Escalate your fingertips to the sky. Enjoy the stretch on your outer right hip. Take one more breath in, reach up. Exhale, modified pyramid pose. Right hand down, drop your head. Lift your hips up and back. Add length and strength into your right thigh. It never needs to be completely straight. Prioritize sensation on the back of your right leg. Take a breath in. Stay for a breath out. 
Inhale, crescent lunge. Bend your front knee, reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Pull your thumbs back, drive your left hip forward, reach your fingertips up. Lace your low ribs in. Again, find strength in your core. Take a breath in. Exhale, airplane arms. Send your hands back and your heart forward. Draw your palms towards one another, friends. You can do it. Send your chest to the front of your mat. Inhale, warrior two. Spin open. Find your way into your warrior stance and in and out of your front leg as needed. Pierce your front heel down and through the mat. Wind your knee out towards your right pinky toe. Extend through your arms. Look forward. Breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach up and over with your left hand. Press your left heel down and through your mat. Extend your left arm up and over. Serve your heart to the sky. Inhale, star pose. Burst open. Strengthen and stretch both of your legs. Reach up. Breathe in. Exhale, back of your mat, warrior two, change directions. Practice detachment, non-attachment from where you thought you were going and instead be here right now. Lean into the strength of your front leg. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left hand up and back. Stretch through your left side rib cage. Reach back, take one more breath in. Exhale, high plank to low plank or your option this Friday. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do all of that on the left. Inhale your left heel high. Exhale, low lunge. Set your back knee down. Inhale, crescent move. Reach your fingertips up. Squeeze your front hip forward. Pull your chest back. Wrap your low ribs in. Back toes tucked for extra fire. Take one more inhale breath. Exhale, low lunge, fingertips to the mat. Lift your right knee. Keep your right hand down, ten titter on the mat. Inhale, left hand high, lateral twist. Press down for your left big toe to squeeze on the strength of your inner thigh. Take a breath in, lift higher. Exhale, modified pyramid pose. Press your hands down, lift your heel up, drop your head down and forward, surrender into your practice and into your breath. Send a breath out, bend your front knee, inhale, crescent lunge, stand up tall. Extend your fingertips to the sky, send your right hip forward, squeeze on your back leg for strength. Take a breath in, exhale, airplane arms, hands back, heart forward. Squeeze your palms towards one another. Take your fingertips towards the back of your mat. Inhale, warrior two. Carve open. Sink down into the strength of your lunge. Press your front heel down. Pull it energetically back to turn on your hamstring and inner thigh. Stay in your depth. Breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle. This time, reach your right arm up and overhead. Create as much distance as you can between your back heel and your top hand. Turn your heart up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Inhale, star pose. Burst open, breathe here. Press down through your big toes, lift up your heart, inhale. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. So warrior two now in your right leg. Good job, everybody. You're doing so awesome, Alex. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Pierce your front heel down. Peel your right ribs open. Breathe in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a full inhale breath. Open mouth, exhale. Breath to movement one time. Let's flow. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent move. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, lateral twist. Exhale, modified pyramid pose. Inhale, full crescent, Andhanyasana. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. With your breath, exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose, burst open. Exhale, warrior two, back with your mat. Inhale, reverse. 
Exhale, high plank to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Other side, inhale your left heel high. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, lateral twist. Exhale, modified pyramid. Inhale, full crescent, anjaneyasana. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star. Lift up the corners of your mouth. Exhale, warrior two on the right. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, plant your palms, high plank to low plank. Awesome work, team. Inhale, upward facing dog. I see you, Sarah. Exhale, downward facing dog. Team, take one big breath in. Open mouth, breathe out. Let's layer on. Inhale, your right heel high. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, lateral twist. Exhale, left heel into the ground. Draw length into your right leg. Extra challenge here. Find a halfway lift sensation in your spine. Pull your heart forward. Press your right big toe down. Use the muscles between your shoulder blades to draw more space into your chest. Take an inhale. Stay for an exhale. On your next inhale, crescent lunge. Step your left toes back. Reach your hands up. Listen for the change. Exhale, airplane pose, Dakasana. Launch forward. Lift your back leg off the mat. Turn your left toes down. Lift your pinky fingers up. Option to stay right here, or we'll add a glute pulse to turn on your left leg. So as you're ready, it's lift, lift, exhale, exhale, just four, three, two, one. Step back, press an airplane arms. Inhale, burst open, star pose. Exhale to the horse. Sink down and in. Take your hands to your inner thighs and find a little shoulder stretch and spinal twist. Move as it feels good in your body. Be intuitive with your breath. Pierce your heels down into your mat. Good, come back to center. Inhale, burst open, star. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high plank to low plank, or your variation. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more side, and then we get a little break on hips for some core. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon, reach up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, lateral twist. Exhale, full pyramid pose. Step your right foot up, align your heels with one another, pull your chest forward and through. Again, find that halfway lift sensation in your spine. Press down, team, through your left big toe. Pull your heart forward, lengthen the back of your neck. Squeeze the fronts of both legs to better elongate the back sides of your thighs. Take a breath in. Send a breath out. Inhale, crescent lunge, under and reach up. Exhale, airplane, Dakasana, fly forward, you can do it. Turn your right toes down, lift your back heel up with the strength of your butt muscles. Stay here or add the pulse on. It's lift, lift, exhale, exhale, just four, three, two, one. Pressing with airplane arms. Inhale, star pose. Top of your mat, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Team inhale, upward facing dog, expand your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a really big breath in. Open mouth, 
Aha! Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float through to a seat. A little time on our hips before we stand back up. Boat Pose Navasana is where we'll meet. Samson, how's sound? How's music? Team, type into the chat if you feel called. What are you practicing on your mat right now? On your hips for boat pose. Root your sits bones into the earth. Squeeze your thighs together. Extend your hands forward. Option, stay here or lift your heels off the mat for extra fire. We'll add a twist here. So hands to heart, right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. Inhale, shh. inhale, exhale. Good, move with your breath. Press your palms together to expand and open your chest. Awesome job, yes, filling the fire in the obliques, just four, you got it team. Three, two, hold your boat pose in one, just hold, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release, give yourself a little hug, set your forehead onto your knees. Reverse tabletop pose, an opportunity to stretch again our wrists. Plant your feet into your mat, drive your heels down. Take your hands beside your hips, face your fingertips forward. Lift your hips off the mat, press your big toes down. Press through your index finger and thumb, look up or drop your gaze back. Breathe, squeeze your inner thighs together. Work into your forearms, work into the stretch on the front of your hips. Practice strength on your back line. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Set your hips down, lie down on your mat. Bridge pose, set to Brandasana. Plant your feet onto the earth. Scoot your hips a little closer towards your heels. Elevate your hips off the mat. Interlace your fingertips if you feel tall. Lift your hips up. Press down through your big toes. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Take your feet wide. Knock your knees in towards one another. One hand to heart and one to belly, broken bridge. Let your breath return. Take a moment to reset. Very short time on our feet coming up and then we'll cool it down. Bring your knees in, rock and roll the length of your spine, downward facing dog. We're almost there friends, you got it. What are you practicing on your mat and in your mind? Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, low lunge. Spin your back heel down. Inhale, warrior one, rise up. Pierce your back heel through your mat, lift up on the front of your left hip. Lean in to the strength of your right leg. Reach your hands high. Breathe in and breathe out. Take your right hand team onto your right hip. Straighten out your right leg. Stay long in your spine. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, paint your fingers down the front wall, whatever you're facing, for revolve triangle pose. Hand onto your mat. Twist your heart open to the right. You can leave your hand on your low back, direct the tip of your elbow up and twist open, or reach your left hand high to the sky. Press down through your big toes to turn on your inner thighs. Gaze up, detach from what you think this should look like. Just feel, breathe in. Exhale, wide leg forward fold, hinge at your hips, bow your head towards your mat. Take three slow breaths here to recover. Halfway lift your spine. Low lunge to the back of your mat. Spin your right heel down. Inhale, warrior one, get Bhadrasana. Reach your hands high. Send your back heel through the mat. Feel the front of your right thigh open, the back of your lower right leg open. 
reach up, squeeze your outer hips in. Take your left hand this time to your left hip. Breathe in, elongate your left leg. Breathe out, paint your right fingertips down whatever wall you're facing. Release to your mat for revolved triangle pose. Twist your heart open to the left. Set your left hand on your low back. Take your shoulders out of your ears. Breathe length from tailbone to crown. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Option, extend your hand up high. One more inhale. Exhale, release, wide leg forward, fold. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Fun transition. Bring your palms into your mat. Hop your feet together and just have a seat down on your heels, heroes pose. A little bit of work into the hips, team, and then we'll surrender. Shift your hips to one side or the other. Frame your left shin with the side or top of your mat. Stack your right shin on top of it. Double pigeon pose. If this is too much, easy seated pose to kasana. Just a cross leg seat. That'll do the same work. It's a little gentler on your hips. My double pigeon, sit up tall. Flex your right toes towards your right kneecap to protect your knee joint. Breathe in, sit up. Breathe out, hinge forward. How can you practice with dedication and fervor and then at the same time be super committed to letting go of the result and to just staying with the practice time and time again? Sit up, lean back, uncross your legs, double pigeon, second side. Stack now your left shin on top, or if you're in Sukhasana, just set your left foot out in front of your right shin. I like hands by my hips so I can sit up nice and tall, breathe in. Exhale, hinge forward. Each inhale, elongate your spine. Each exhale, hinge a little deeper. I definitely feel more sensation here on my left side, and I'm letting go of any judgment of right versus left. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, rise. Reposition yourself on your mat. Lie down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. One more twist option for easy twists like we started with or a little more depth, send your left leg long, wind removing pose, draw your right knee in, breathe in. Exhale, twist, right knee over to the left side. Gaze up or to the right. Breathe into your belly. Inhale, come through center. Hug your knees in. And switch it out. Right leg long. If you chose this variation, pull your left knee in. Twist over to the other side. Stack your hips. Surrender onto your mat. Let it receive you. Inhale, come to center. Give your legs a squeeze and for just a moment, legs up the wall. Extend your feet to hover on top of your knees and your hips. Let your femur bones root down into the mat, into your hip sockets. Relax your low back, take one breath in. Send one breath out. Draw your knees into your chest. Wrap your forehead up to meet your kneecaps. Breathe in. Exhale, Shavasana. Extend your legs long. Turn your palms up. Press the back of your head into your mat to shift your shoulder blades together and down. I'll mind the time, friends. 
release, relax, receive. Take this time to detach from your practice and just be. Team, inhale, fill up your belly. Exhale all of your breath out. If you have the beautiful gift of time this Friday, then no rush to get up. But if you're ready to move back into your practice of the other things in your life, wiggle your fingers and toes and make your way slowly to a seat. Rest in supported fetal pose on the way there. And once you're on your sits bones or your heels or your cushion, touch your palms together in front of your heart, close your eyes and hold in between your palms that coin. One side is practice. One side is non-attachment. And the two have to coexist. So we practice with fervor and then we let go of the fruits of our labor. With that commitment in your mind and in your heart, lift your thumbs to third eye, Ajna, the seat of intuition. When my light and your light and the light of the universe connect, in that perfect place, we are one. Bow forward in gratitude to one another, say namaste. Hmm. Friends, namaste. Thank you so much for being here this Friday. What a treat to get to flow with you today and to lean into those coexisting theories of practice and non-attachment. Sarah, thanks for making it to your mat. If you didn't get a chance to earlier before you hop off, friends, perhaps share with uh, everybody we're practicing with together here in San Diego and all across the world. We've got Simona from Italy here. Uh, share what you're practicing and then share your commitment to let go of holding on so tightly to the fruits of your labor and instead value the practice above all else. And maybe you have time, uh, chance, opportunity to really lean into that this weekend to the joy of practice. So thanks for doing that with me. It's such a treat to be here to flow with you. My name again is Marissa. I am a senior area leader for Core Power Yoga in San Diego. I'm at today. Uh, starting next week, friends, we're moving all of our classes over to our amazing new platform, CPY Live, which will allow you to see all your favorite teachers and have even more interaction. You'll be able to see your fellow yogis and your teacher will be able to see you so you can get practice. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, please go to live.corepoweryoga.com and we'll see you over there on that platform next week. Yogi's practicing. Yes, Sarah, thank you. Amanda, awesome. Well, team, Samson, my friend, thank you so much for being here for your support today. What a beautiful Friday flow, everybody. I hope that you're having some plans to enjoy the rest of your day, whatever that looks like. And we can't wait to flow with you again soon. Have an awesome day, everybody.